my second month in Taiwan, my friend and I took a weekend trip to Hualien and Taroko National Park, which ended up being one of my favorite trips during my entire exchange. After arriving at Hualien Station, we went to Arirang Korean Restaurant, where they serve the best bibimbap I've had in Taiwan. Later in the evening, we walked around Dong Damen Night Market, which was weirdly empty for a Friday night. A lot of the stalls weren't open, but I still got some roasted mochi for dessert. Then we checked in at Cave Hostel, an amazing capsule hotel that cost only 250 NTD per person, which is around $10 Canadian, including breakfast. In the morning, we decided to explore Hualien on foot, so we walked to Nanbin Park, which offered beautiful ocean views. continued to walk all around the city until we finally stopped to get lunch at a ramen restaurant that specialized in black garlic ramen with thick pieces of meat. After lunch, it began to rain, so we did some shopping and then visited the famous Tengji mochi store and tried some delicious handmade mochi. Finally, for dinner, we went to this incredible Japanese kushiyaki restaurant, but when we got there at 8pm, it was insanely busy, and our server told us that it would be a 3 hour wait. Since we weren't that hungry, we decided to wait for a table to open up, and it was so worth it. We ordered all kinds of grilled skewers, and they were absolutely delicious. By the way, I'll put all of the places that we went to in the description box below. The next morning, we woke up early to catch the bus from Hualien Station to the famous Taroko National Park. We decided to do the Baiyang Trail, so we took the bus all the way to the last station at Tianxia. There, we entered the trail by going through the first of many tunnels. This trail is perfect for beginners and features beautiful views of valleys, rivers, and waterfalls. is Water Curtain Cave. I couldn't film inside because it's basically like walking through torrential downpour, so make sure to grab a raincoat from someone on your way in. We wanted to see some of the other sites in the national park, so we hitchhiked to the Eternal Spring Shrine and Swallow's Grotto. Hitchhiking in Taiwan is typically very safe and easy, especially in Taroko Gorge because all of the cars are going in one of two directions. For the two of us, it never took longer than two minutes to find a ride and the locals are all extremely kind. So if you don't want to wait for the bus or are looking for an adventure, hitchhiking is the way to go. So 
that was my weekend trip to Hualien and Taroko National Park. I'll be uploading more of my Taiwan adventures, so stay tuned for those.